I always feel a bit weird when it's been a hot minute since I've filmed. I haven't recorded a video in like three weeks because I've been away. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. You haven't been watching recently filmed videos, loser. <laughs> I had a backlog. But here I am back at it and I'm ready to be blown away because today I'm listening to more songs from Lydia the Bard. I absolutely loved her stuff in the last video I did. She was... Oh, rah, insane. And given all of the characters I missed, her villain songs of uh, blah, the lineup today, mwah, it looks spicy. You don't really do that for spicy, that's delicious. But yeah, mwah, I consume the spice. Welcome back, Matthew. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there. If that's your thing, there's a link in the description below. And there's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. Wow, sorry, hated my tone there. Also, I'm sorry if I sound weird. I feel like I might be getting a bit sick. I mean, it's either that or it could be the weekend of, of practically straight partying that I just had, but who knows? The first song for today is among her most popular ones. It's Jasmine and it's Arabian Nights. I'm pretty sure Jasmine doesn't actually sing that song. Maybe she does have a part in it. I don't know. But that does make me super pumped for the sound. I was out here theorizing, trying to work out the plot of the villain arcs and all that sort of thing in the last video. Hey, guess what? They are in the description. Well, uh, okay, I thought it was gonna be like a big lore dump. It's just, a, it's just a sentence explaining it. If she took over Agrabah and turned into the villain, like she's killed Jafar, locked her father in prison and rejected Aladdin to rule the kingdom by herself, and the power of substance going ahead. There's been a revolution and the people rose up with her and now Agrabah is burning and we end the film with a singing this song and it's all come full circle. I've watched that film, Jasmine was already a boss, but I wanna see that character arc for her. Hell yes. Thought I'd just try to read that as fast as possible. Let me just whoosh, breathe. Are we gonna get like a slow start? Oh, imagine a land, it's a far away place. I already love it. Stop. <laughs> I love it. Stop. Do you know how hard it is to just constantly have my mind explode from other people's talent? Like I have to analyze it and think about it. And then I just sit here like, oh yeah, they're amazing. And you're not Matthew. You're not. What the f Where you wander among every culture and tongue It's chaotic, <sighs> but hey, it's home She does kind of sound less evil than I'd expect And the sand in the glass is right Wait, I gotta remember she's like killed people Well, she killed Jafar Jafar's not he, I've never seen Aladdin He not good, right? Come on down, stop on by, hop a carpet and fly <sighs> I wish Oh man, I just, it just occurred to me that this is the song, obviously, you know, I already knew, I just didn't really think about it. It goes, Arabian Nights. <laughs> and I'm so excited to hear her sing that bit. <laughs> Again though, it's so slow. It, does, it feels ominous, which sounds dumb to say as a villain song. Why am I so prepared for this to just go hard later? As you wind through the streets of the fabled bazaars with It feels like the rhythm has slightly changed. You can smell every spice while you haggle the bro So much attitude to her voice, I f***ing love it. Pull the music that plays as you move through a maze And the way she opens herself up You're caught in the dance, you're lost in the trance of another rave so clean. Hit me. Go, 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 go. Arabian nights, like Arabian days. And the harmonies. Damn, bitch. Not are harder than hot in a lot of good ways. Wait, is that the line or did she just change that? Because they're hotter than hot in a lot of good ways. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it has been a while since I've been on camera because I forgot that that shit is recorded when I do it. I feel like that simultaneously the best and worst thing about my channel is that I forget sometimes I'm talking to a camera like I just think it's you. I think I'm looking dead into your eyes and saying these things to you but then I realize I'm not and it's, it's, it's footage and it's recorded and it's just gonna be public that I did that. Insane notes man. How high is she gonna still go? Magic and sand is more 
life than it seems. She is using those harmony layers perfectly. That may lead you to good or to greed through the power you're The build. Why am I just excited? You know what just occurred to me? Is because I haven't watched Aladdin, and in the video I did reacting to songs from Aladdin, I didn't include this. This is actually the first time I've fully heard this song. I've only heard bits and pieces from around before. Let the darkness unfold or find fortunes untold. Will your destiny- She is- a lot less intense, I guess, with the with the lyrics. Like most of the songs in the other Lydia the Bard video I did, the lyrics were pretty like specifically saying like I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you or drown your whole village or something. Whereas this is quite vague. It's not so pointed, which you know is still cool. And it's more about like the attitude. But man, I would be so interested to hear how she would write this now and include that sort of stuff. Okay, demon. What? What? Who was that? Oh damn! She slowed it down. Cool. They seem to excite, take off and take flight. I just, I, I don't know what I expected. But I still love it, and I love her voice. God damn. How does it still make me want to like jam? Oh, we're gonna get played out like this? Okay. Loki, feel like the image is just gonna go rah! It did not. So ain't that nice. Well, given everything I've said about that song, I'm sure it'll come as no surprise that I really liked that. I also feel like it's in no small part just due to her voice. It's freaking incredible. She could almost just sing anything. I don't know, she could sit there and go, ah, wah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, mmm, yes, love these fresh tunes. Shut the f up, Matthew. The next song, uh, I'm very excited for, I'm not gonna lie. I've said this combination of words so many times in this video already, but in the previous Lydia the Bard video, I said that my favorite Disney movie was Hercules, followed by Mulan, and sometimes that kind of switches depending on what mood I'm in, so I love Mulan. So you're telling me that there's a Mulan villain song and she's singing I'll make a man out of you, which, which she doesn't sing in the movie? I, yeah. I don't think I've ever been more ready to click play in my goddamn life. Okay, so in this one, Mulan is discovered far earlier and sent home. Then her father is sent to the front lines in her place and dies. So Shang's army still wins, but with a lot more deaths. And then she essentially starts an uprising because the government's nonsense rules and decisions led to a whole bunch of deaths, including her father's. So this is where she's trained a militia and is preparing to storm the capital, meaning she'll also have to fight against Shang. Hell yes. She kind of, she kind of looks like a hun here too. It's dope. Yes, the least we could do is give them a warning. <laughs> I kind of like evil Mulan already. So here's a rendition of one used by our deep Oh, oh my God. So in this, she's aware of that song because she actually still had it sung to her or whatever by Shang. And now this is her like co-opting that for her own uses. Oh my God. And especially because her army has women and Shang's wouldn't. Let's get down to business. To defeat. Love the kind of like sultry tone. I don't know. It's dope. So dumb. Did she? Did she say so dumb? Oh my god. The hunt, so dumb. <laughs> She's like making fun of it as she goes. When I asked for sons, <laughs> misogynist. <laughs> I kind of love her. Insane again. Oh my god. How many times am I gonna compliment her voice? Oh my god. That's such a beautiful run. <laughs> Pie is cool collected, but a snake. Whoa, okay, this is a change. Once you find his weakness. Oh, she's like describing. <laughs> That's so dope. This man's just to finally do. Time to pay the cost of treachery. Oh, they're not like doing a whole bunch of different voice. Oh. I mean, yeah, she would feel quite betrayed. I'm curious though, like, Shang still spared her life in this or did she manage to escape because she was meant to be killed for impersonating a man but damn even so it would it would just be so incredibly frustrating see what you've turned me into my final act is here and then we're through 
<laughs> the chant is down with Shanghai, yeah. Uh, how does she do those trills so well? Man, I would love some high highs later. Whoa. Okay, okay. Turn on it way down. I always thought that I'll make a man out of you would have done well with at least a small part being brought way down so it hits bigger later. <laughs> and like, I'm thankful I was kicked out because it showed me who you are. See you dead, this empire through. Okay, fair enough. It's a vengeance. <laughs> I'm gonna lose who I am in this like evil plan, but I'm taking you down with me. Well, not even evil. Sorry. She's overthrowing a government with ridiculous rules that screwed over a people. Yes, she's not evil at all. This is it. Before me, I see a strong and vicious army. Shanks. Oh, her own army. <laughs> Most of you won't make it, but it's sacrifice. I'm <laughs> okay, Lord Farquad. Hello. Sacrifice too much to turn back now. She is changing this melody so much. It's far defended. They've been in charge too long and now Okay, that came out of nowhere. Wow, very extended. Holy crap. Speed sharp is a striking viper with all the might of the great monster. She holds it so well. Oh. I was a fire from the I... <sighs> Well, okay, so uh I mean I keep flip-flopping on whether I'm calling her evil or not, and I I guess that's kind of the point at least a little bit, but saying that what you're doing and, and why you're doing it and why you're strong is because it was all forged from hate. Mm. I mean that doesn't sound perfectly amazing, does it? Yeah, okay, talking about... Oh, is she gonna hit that moon again? Oh! Of me? The dark side of Mulan? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, th I guess that kind of wouldn't have fit so well. Like, now you'll know the dark side of the Mulan. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess that kind of fits, but I mean, she wouldn't have to say the Mulan just now, you know, the dark side of Mulan, unless she refers to herself as the moon. It doesn't matter. This isn't important. Well, that was great, but who's surprised? But what I find particularly interesting is that some of those parts, I don't know exactly what it was. They felt a little strange, mostly in how they were structured, but not bad strange, just kind of weird. And I was taking note of it as I went, but I just couldn't put my finger on why. And maybe part of it is just because sections were very different from the original and I was kind of comparing it to that, but it did kind of keep me engaged because I kept just sitting there like, oh, that was, that's weird straight. Oh my gosh, this voice is coming in here. And it makes the whole thing feel more original and more like hers. So this one is the villain song of Isabel from Encanto. It's what else can I do? And essentially it seems to be about Isabel cracking under the pressure of her family's expectations in a timeline where Mirabel wasn't able to help Help in time. Oh, this one's an animatic again. Hell yeah. Stand up straight, stick it through. Up. She's like, I want to do other things, right? Damn. <laughs> the family that hurts and harms. That's so depressing. What else could I do? Right, this time the question's sort of like, what else can I do? Not in a way of like accepting her place or anything, but like, hmm, what else can I do? There are other ways to handle this. Very weakness that exposed God. Kill the wild. As, a, as a child, the grandma was like, this is not good enough. Smash! Watch as wonder decomposes. How could God damn, the whole family is just like abusive. Support the family, don't stray, display, obey, you must- Yes, this rhythm is already incredible. Oh, you suffocate the ones you love, that's not just- I want this to hit so big. Hit me in the face. I want no face left. Oh my God. 
making this like such a dark tone is so cool. It, it is, it is. She's saying like, what else can I do? What are my other plans then? God, you can do anything, woman. Please, hit me. Go. Okay, no, different. You know what? I don't mind it just being like a story sort of thing. Dude, some of these lines, what the hell? I can't, you know, it's been a while since I've listened to anything from Encanto, so I don't remember if these were even in the songs, but the rose isn't there, just the thorns is such a cool line. And if she wrote it, like, damn. Oh my God, the slides. Half time. She's like, I strangle you, Grandma. And she's like, ditching her uh, arranged marriage? Question mark. What could you possibly expect was gonna happen when? I guess she was just used to people falling in line. Yo, why does the grandma seem so unfazed? Is she gonna just like kill her? <laughs> That's so badass, what the hell? So much is going on. I'm, I, I love her in this, what the hell? Holy sh... The like hushed tones. What else can I do? Squish your little vine cage. Oh, she left a single flower. Damn, what a bad bitch. I shouldn't like want her to just go on a rampage, but I also kind of want her to go on a rampage. Should I be concerned by how often with Lydia's songs, I'm sitting there just going, yeah, do it, kill everyone. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying that actually. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm a good man with, with a pure heart who, who does not want harm for anyone, except for anyone that harms my bad bitches. <laughs> the last song is gonna be an interesting experience for me because I haven't watched Peter Pan either, but the Tinkerbell song was just so heavily requested that I couldn't not include it in this video. But while I know the plot and the concept of Peter Pan, I don't really know that much about all of this context. So maybe I'll be a little bit lost, but if it's Tinkerbell, Singing about like slaughtering people, then you know, I'm on board. Not with the slaughtering necessarily, but with the idea of her singing that. Oh my God, I just read the story in the description and uh, that's dark. It's essentially that Tinkerbell had the idea that if a fairy is born from a newborn baby's laugh, then maybe like it's when that child stops believing in fairies or whatever that causes the fairies to die. So she's come up with this whole plan to like every time a fairy is born, go find the newborn, steal that specific baby and keep it in Neverland so it never grows up and never stops believing in fairies. And now that like Wendy and the other kids are here and they're like thinking about leaving and all that sort of thing, she's like, no, we can't have that. You can't take my, my my kidnapped hostage babies. <laughs> God, I'm so down with the like cello already. Okay, and then it turned into bassy synth. Little girl, you've no idea what you've got. You're so Love it already. Fly for a night and think Holy fucking shit. Try too hard to see all of my work. The filtered vocals are amazing. I see the way they look at you with tears in their eyes. All right. Oh my god. Here's the thing. I don't think, or maybe it is like a song from Peter Pan. I didn't really know if there were that many, or any songs from Peter Pan. I really don't know much about Peter Pan, okay? So is this just like an entirely original song? It's already so good, if so. Soon they'll start to dream of oh yeah, about leaving. I won't let you tempt them, they are mine to pretend. Damn. No use reminding them of the- <laughs> Don't remind them of anything about their original lives. You don't seem to quite understand I mean, yeah, like, it does suck that, like, fairies are gonna die. Maybe. I don't know if that's actually confirmed in this story, but even so, don't kidnap babies. Good, good rule for life. This messed up little family that I okay, fine, cool. Wonderful high notes. Them all go home, please know that I would, but it, it 
does she at least at least she feels guilty so why don't you fall holy fuck. Fall get out of here get out of here that's badass fall that's so badass fall I really expected that to be bigger, but oh my god, I love the like minimalist side of that. Why does this kind of it's kind of giving Billie Eilish? <laughs> that I was about to say that beat is so cool, and then they did this like wah like Inception noise. <laughs> the idea of like Tinkerbell just having a short temper. I don't know. It's so weird to me. She's just gonna like, I don't know, kill Wendy or something? <laughs> She's so nasty. Trying to take away my kidnapped children, what a bitch. <laughs> the build is so good too, holy crap. Hit me, hit me. So why don't you fall the way they hit that high note before. Oh, the whispered bits. Oh yeah, they're adding more to this chorus. Man, I would love it for the last chorus repetition. They did the wah in the middle of it. <laughs> Swear it's nothing I mean, she's acknowledging that it's evil, I guess. What do I do? What do I do with this? It's so, oh my God. I just realized that it's like Peter saving her every time she tries to kill her. How did I not pick up on that? <laughs> They're contrasting all the deep notes with such highs so well. Oh, is that? Oh my god, is that a dead fairy because of- Well, yeah, that's, this is fucking depressing. They're stealing more kids? Jesus Christ, this is so sad. Oh my lord. There it is. That's so cool. Oh my god, that gave me shivers. Holy crap. Oh my. <laughs> I, like full goosebumps. Yeah. She rises even more. Oh my god, so badass, so good. Onto the point, is that what that was? Well, that. <laughs> Rip to Wendy, maybe, question mark. I mean, she was fallen head first onto that, so probably rip. <laughs> what, what do I, what do I say? What do I do? What else can I say? What else can I do? See what I did there? It's just so fucking good. And I, do, I don't know how to handle it. I loved all of the stuff I'd heard before anyway, and the last three songs, but that was just, <laughs> There was something about that that still somehow took me off guard and was still so different to what I was expecting in like all the best possible ways. They just kept surprising me all the time and I'm so happy about it. <sighs> oh, God. There is so much energy going on. I have so many thoughts in my brain. I don't know how to organize them. That's what this has done to me. Thanks, Lydia. I mean, actually, thank you, because that was a great experience and I really liked that last song. And I think, honestly, I'm just gonna sit and listen to that again and probably add it to my playlist because it's, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I am speechless. I don't know what to do. Why am I holding these in my face? I'm, a, I'm gonna go, okay? Because I, I'm just gonna end up making a fool of myself in all new ways. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and, and seeing me like this over YouTube fan songs, but it, it's, I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it at all. I'm happy, okay? amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.